Gus Race Truck. Hey, welcome back to Square Body Stuff. I'm Chad, your host. This is part two of our nitrous install and my uh, race truck squeaky. Uh, just to kind of catch you up in the last video, I'll put a link to it up here in this corner. Uh, click that so you can go back and see where we're at so far. Uh, we got the nitrous side of things already hooked up. Uh, show you real quick. Got my solenoids, purge valve, and inside this toolbox here, we got the bottle. So, you can go back to that other video, get caught up on that part of it. This part of the video is going to be setting up the fuel system for the nitrous setup. Uh, it's going to be a standalone fuel system. I'll have a small fuel tank in that uh, same toolbox with the nitrous bottle. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do yet for a fuel tank yet. But I'll figure something out. Uh, but I've got everything else to do it. We'll start off by getting our solenoid set up where we need it. Uh, to kind of route it around stuff. It'll probably come on this side and then up to the regulator on the firewall uh, this is kind of just laid out what I'm going to be doing with the system we'll come from a fuel tank to a fuel filter to the fuel pump then to the regulator then to the filter and then to the solenoid I wanted to filter before and after uh, this filters, I mean, right before it goes to the solenoid, that way it keeps any, if there's any junk, any debris, if anything messes up in any, any either one of these components or anything, uh, it won't, shouldn't get to my solenoid and, and mess it up. I've got, uh, all my fittings are Fregola. I'm actually new to this AN fitting world. I've never messed with it before. Already got one end on, just practicing with it, trying to figure out the best route. Because I don't have any good cutters. I looked for some and couldn't find any. I kind of dropped the ball and didn't didn't get any good cutters bought before I started doing this video. So I'm making do with what I got. I'll kind of show you, you know, a little bit of how I'm how I do it as far as setting up the fittings onto the hose. Of course I got all sorts of miscellaneous fittings. Now I'm not going to go through every fitting, every little step with you. I'll kind of jump around uh, once I get a certain component maybe done. And then I'll kind of show you that so I don't draw this video out any longer than I have to. So my first step is I'm going to get my solenoid set up uh, onto the plate. And then just kind of work back to the tank from there or to where the tank's going to be. Alright, to start out with on this fuel hose, it is their Dash 6 Premium Nylon Race Hose. Uh, it's, it's what I found or what I've, in my research, what's going to work best for me. Uh, like I said, I'm new to all this AN stuff, so I've done a lot of research, and hopefully what I come up with is going to work. Uh, they seem to think that uh, this line will, will hold up better to what I'm doing so that's what I'm going to use like I said it's just a standalone system just for the nitrous so it's not going to get used all that much I'm not going to have to rely on it to get me down the road eventually I'm probably going to set up a better fuel system for the carburetor side of things but right now the, uh, the factory fuel pumps working okay so I'm going to stick with that so first off I need to get all my fittings um, tightened up threaded in where they're supposed to go any of these pipe fittings or NP, NPT threads, national pipe threads, they're tapered. Um, and you'll need to use some sort of a thread sealant on there. Don't, don't use thread tape. Uh, if you get a little piece of thread tape in your system, it could really ruin your day. Uh, I'm just using a little tube of this uh, high temp thread sealant. Uh, it's supposed to be some good stuff. We'll see how it works. So far I'm liking it. Just put a little dab of it on there. All the way around. I 
and then thread it in, tighten it up, and you'll be good to go. So I'm going to work on getting all my fittings in each component where, uh, where I need them, and then I'll go to setting up the hose, showing you how I'm putting these ends on the hose. And before we get started, I'm going to ask you to hit that subscribe button if you feel like it, and ring the little bell so you get the notifications whenever I put up a new video. Go down to the description below, and I'll have the part numbers uh, to like the pump stuff. I'm not going to put every part number for each individual fitting, but for the main components, I'll put part numbers down there. Uh, also, while you're in the description, you can check out my Teespring store for my merchandise and pick you out something to wear to sponsor or not sponsor but represent this video or this channel we appreciate it all right i've got the uh fuel solenoid set up the way i want it got my line of course your jet don't forget your jet gotta put your jet in there the line comes down right there fitting comes out and i'm going to have my fuel filter which I've wrapped an old piece of hose around to kind of insulate it. Let me clean it up a little bit more, and I may not. But I will probably zip tie it to my fuel rail, and that way, and just put a short piece of hose in between them. And then go back up to the firewall. I have a regulator mounted up here, and that's where I'm at right now. So I'm going to start making little pieces of hose, and then mount my regulator. Okay, I think this might be a handy tip because uh, I've just been kind of messing around with the fittings, trying to practice a little bit on these hose ends to make sure I know what I'm doing with it when I'm explaining it to you, at least make it look like I know what I'm doing. And I started setting up my fittings on my regulator and I had a moment of panic because I thought, oh crap, I don't know if I've got enough fittings. So what I did was went through my fittings and kind of went through my mind. I, I've got an image in my mind of how I want everything run. So I went through my fittings and actually got everything just mocked up. This fitting will be coming from my tank. Now the only thing I don't have is what's going to be attached to the tank. I'm not sure on that right now. But this will be coming from the tank to my filter, straight to the pump. Then from the pump, I'll have that in. Uh, then all the way over to the inlet here. And then the outlet. And now I've got the uh, fitting on the fuel pump or the fuel filter on the solenoid. So. My panic is over because I've actually got a couple extra fittings. Not a big deal. I ordered a couple extra just in case. So we're good to go. I'm going to try to get my fittings all fitted up. And then I'll try to show you how to uh, put these ends on the hose. Alright, now I'm going to attempt to show you how I'm putting the ends on this hose. Not saying this is the best or the perfect way, but this is the this is how I've come up with to make it easy for me. Uh, I'll just show you what I've got going on. There's plenty of other YouTube videos out there showing you how to do this. Uh, so do your research, just like I did to figure this stuff out, because this is the first time I've been doing it. I'm just trying to pass on what little bit I know about this to you guys. So here we go. And I've got my line mark. This is actually going from the regulator to the filter and then from going up to the solenoid. So I marked it with a piece of masking tape. And I'll go ahead and cut it with my side cutters because this is the best thing I've found that I have access to right now to cut this with. As I dropped the ball and didn't get any good cutters. But with this kind of hose, it seems to be working pretty good. And it helps that these are pretty good nippers too. But 
But the problem with putting this tape on there is when you try to pull the tape off, this nylon braiding likes to fray out. So I'm going to try to use a lighter to go ahead and burn it a little bit before I pull the tape off. This may or may not work. I actually haven't even tried this yet. This is just something that popped in my head to try. No, we'll go ahead and pull the tape off. That ain't too bad. I'll go ahead and burn it now, just like you was some nylon rope. So now I once I got that done. I'll take the whatever you want to call this part off. You got to get it slid onto your hose. Give a little bit of a twist. Now I'm not sure if you can see it but it you got to get it pushed up in there far enough where the hose there's kind of a shoulder inside there. Push that hose up to that shoulder. And then I'll take a little bit of a little bit of lubrication. Slide this in down in there. Now this has got threads here. And the inside of this is threaded. They're right hand threads, standard threads. And you just thread it in. And you got to make sure it doesn't pull pull this nut up off of the, your hose. You'll be in trouble there. And I don't have the fancy AN aluminum wrenches. Just use what I've got. Thread it on there. And you don't want to go all the way. Uh, and you can see their marking right there. It says FPS. It's just their, their company logo or company marking. And this has also got the same thing. What I'll do is I'll try to keep an eye on that. And don't over tighten it. Just get it to where there will be a little bit of a gap. But I'll line those up. It looks nice and clean. And probably go just a little bit further to be picky. There you go. That's how I do the ends on these. So far it's working out pretty good. Don't know if any of them's going to leak yet or not, but we'll find out. So far it's working out pretty good for me doing it that way. I'll go ahead and get this hose on and start uh, working my way back to the uh, tank or where the tank is going to be. I'm going to have to admit, most of this stuff's way too nice for this truck. Uh, yeah, some of the components are the cheaper brand stuff uh, but the AN fittings and the fuel and the line and everything's pretty good stuff so but it looks looks pretty good I think I've got the regulator mounted up I made it put it over closer to the edge where it's easier to get to to do any adjustments on it I left a little extra line here because I want to redo this eventually I need to order some different lines or different fittings get rid of this small section of hose and I mean I could either get it just a little union or replace this elbow with a a female fitting instead of the male fitting and that way I could just <clears throat> put my fuel filter right to the this fitting here that's why I left a little extra line going to the solenoid. Oh well. So that's pretty much it underneath the hood on the fuel system. 
Now everything, everything's just hand tight right now. I need to go through and finish tightening, tightening everything up. But that's pretty much the way it's going to look. This is the fuel pump. Got it mounted to the frame. Got a big chunk of rubber from an old mud flap. I put in between the pump and the frame to hopefully cut down on some of the noise, but I'm not too worried about it making a bunch of noise because this is not going to be running all the time. It's only going to be running when the fuel si or the nitrous system is armed. So at least I'll know it's running. I could probably hear it. I've got the fittings going up through the floor. I moved. That's where the line was going through, but I moved it over to the corner. And I put a old piece of radiator hose uh, to run my lines through to keep them from rubbing on anything. So it's coming along. I still got to get some clips or something to mount my lines to the frame to keep them from flopping around. I thought I bought some, but I either didn't or I put them in that safe place where. They wouldn't get lost, and now I can't find them, so. <laughs> I'm not sure if anybody else ever does that, but I do that a lot. Well, that about wraps up the fuel side of this nitrous system. Uh, I may have went a little overboard for what it is, but I wanted to make sure I had plenty of fuel. Because uh, I do plan on going more than just a 100 horse shot. If I went with just a 100 shot, I probably would have been okay just running off stock fuel pump, but. I wanted to kind of halfway do this project right uh, to be on the safe side. So that's why I'm putting all this extra stuff on there. So hopefully we can figure out some sort of a fuel tank and then we'll be doing the electrical part of it. And that'll be in the next video so you all stay tuned. Uh, in the meantime, watch these videos over here. Uh, click that subscribe button over there. And you all keep your square bodies rolling and we will catch you later.